So a couple of weeks ago I made a video in which I assembled one of the Scale 4 Society's new turnout kits. And at the end of that video I showed this box and how I was going to install it in it and make a bit of a display. Now that display is going to be at Scale Forum in a couple of weeks time um, and I'll be demoing starting in P4. But it occurred to me that that box was a little bit bland so fast forward a week or so and this is where we are now at. I've thought I'd develop it a little bit. Um, it's not finished, probably won't be finished by Scale Forum but you can see I've sort of made a little bit of a scene of it all. Now, I asked in that video, what should we call it? Lots of great suggestions. David Orff came up with Bexhill Test. So this control panel, which is just an interim one, this will be on a nice piece of uh, laminate eventually, but I've made the, the thing with the name Bexhill Test. We're testing some things out. Now, there's a few things on here that are quite good fun. I thought we'd make this interactive in case anybody wanted to have a little play. So for example, the signal operates the turnout operates with one of my turnout actuators that all works nicely and I was thinking what can I do to kind of fill this scene up so we've got ourselves some level crossing gates. Now there's some other bits and pieces I can show you in just a moment we'll zoom in and you can see it all in detail but today really um, the challenge is to get the station car park finished off a bit of retaining wall at the back and one or two other little jobs so let's get stuck in. So we've got a slightly better view from this angle. We can see more of what's involved. This really is only a tiny space. Now this is the, I don't know, station forecourt, car park area, call it what you will. Um, and this is the bit we're going to work on first of all today. And I'm going to use this stuff, Das Stone. It's brilliant. Um, this clay is superb. So that would be quite a quick, easy job. That would be a nice, um, easy win, as they say. Now I think we can incorporate a little bit of detail into here. So we'll have a little ramp coming up this end and I've made a couple of prototypes we'll sort of figure out as we go along which ramp will be the best and I think we'll put some drainage in some manhole covers bits and pieces like that so what I'll do is I'll film all of that um, and you can just watch me do it Now hopefully all of that was self-explanatory. Here you can see me using a spatula just to smooth that all down. This is quite rough and I must add that that is my model making spatula that hasn't come out of the kitchen. And you can see hopefully where I've stuck down a couple of drain covers and little manhole cover that I've laser cut.
Now this next step, step is something I've done before, um, which you might have seen on the channel. And I'm rushing it a bit here, this is just a bit crude. But I've got a little 3D printed tool that I've used to just stick some cobblestone detail in. In and around where I live it's quite common to see granite sets um, sort of embedded in the gutters and tarmac laid over them leaving just a line of sets in the sort of against the curb so really just to put a bit of texture down so a bit of water here on the fingertip just to help smooth things off as I mentioned previously I don't want to get this beautifully smooth I want it to have a bit of surface texture to it Now with the basic surface sort of roughed out, what I've done is I've covered it with some cling film just to sort of slow it down so it doesn't dry out quite so quickly. And whilst I've been doing that, I've, or whilst I've been waiting for this to sort of go off a little bit, I've made a start on the station platform. So what I'll do is I'll peel this cling film back and we'll lay that over there. It's one of the hottest days of the year in the UK at the moment and this stuff will dry out really quick and the faster we let it dry out the more likely it is to crack. Now if the surface does crack I'm not too worried because we can repair it very easily but I'm going to try and hopefully prevent that from cracking by slowing down the drying process. So it's it's hardened up now but it's still it's still soft enough for me to work with. So the next thing we're going to do is put some texture onto the surface and probably the best way of doing it is with a, a paintbrush and we can experiment with different paintbrushes until we find something that gives us a reasonable finish. Now, I want to be quite delicate with this, it really doesn't want much but the more surface texture we get on here the better it will sort of collect the paint and particularly run some washes over here it will play, provide bits where paint can pull and stuff and it will hopefully not look too bad. With all of that in mind I've consciously not levelled this perfectly. Now I could have levelled it with a rolling pin or something and got it dead flat like a billiard table but that's not the look that I was after here. I did use a little something to a piece of brass tube as a roller to sort of roughly level the material on the station platform but for this a little bit rough and ready I think we'll be fine. Now what we can do is just dosh a bit of water on here, a nice soft brush. What I'm going to try and do is be fairly random with how I stipple this brush to try and get the effect um, not looking too uniform. And the places where I've got a, I've got like a little line here in the clay, I can just rub that with my fingertip, possibly with a little more water, and just get rid of it. So I'll carry on with that, we'll come back to this in a little while um, and yeah, then I think we'll paint the retaining wall.
Okay, so that clay is drying up nicely on the sort of car park area and the station platform. Looks a bit wonky down here, but don't worry, that's all going to be sorted out and I think we'll end up looking quite nice. Now, for the back of the model, I thought we'd have something a little bit more colourful. So I've got this stone wall that I've been making and the next job is to paint the next section of it. And I'll show you how I go about doing that. This is some laser cut stone walling that I produced myself. I thought it'd be nice to have a bit of a focal point at the back. So we've got this little signal box. Now this is a model of one that um, was based in Cornwall at Pras. Um, I think it's Pras, it, it might be Praise, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but anyway that's where that's come from. It was platform mounted. Well I thought we can stick it there. All of this is a figment of my imagination and I'm just sort of more or less using stuff that I've got lying around and I've drawn this up previously so why not stick it there. The fact it's got nice big windows means we can see inside and I'll be able to model the, the levers for the, the signal and stuff. Interestingly whilst we're here I'll zoom in a bit so you can see this more closely. I've started to model the point rodding and yes that does work when the turnout switches this all works um, and I don't think I'll be able to connect it up to a lever inside here but don't rule it out I might have a go. Anyway let's do this wall and let's get it painted. Regular viewers of the channel will know that I am no Michelangelo and painting stuff is uh, sort of fills me with dread. So you can see I'm using a very basic colour palette here. I'm not trying to uh, sort of stretch myself here at all. And basically I'm using the colours that were on my bench. I'm not sufficiently um, qualified or experienced enough to be able to pick out the right colours. So this is all a bit random. What I'm hoping for is to just get a bit of extra colour just to sort of fill the back of the, the little display a little bit. So rather than going for just sort of all grey, there's some brown in here and some, some very lighter tones as well. So I'll just let you watch what I'm doing and if all the art experts would like to chime in in the comments and explain what I'm doing wrong or how I could improve it, I'd love to hear from you. Now this stonework sheet is engraved onto MDF sheet and it's something I make myself. In fact it's something which may well appear in my little online shop at some point very soon. So that's you know don't leave a question saying where to get it from, I, I made it. Um, but I think there are other sources of this sort of stuff, it's engraved MDF. I'm sure a Google search will turn some up for you. Now what I'm doing here is just adding a, a black wash and this is uh, I think a pum roll enamel black wash. I'm not being too careful with it um, and in fact I'm using lots of white spirit to dilute it down a little bit. I really don't want to overdo it. I'd rather build this up slowly uh, to get the effect than overdo it and then have to strip some of it off. Anyway, I think the pictures speak for themselves so I'll let you enjoy or fall asleep whichever as I carry on and paint the wall.
hopefully this shot gives a good view of how effective the wash has been. On the left here you can see the half of the wall that I've done and on the right still needs to be done. Now that effect can be darkened up by just repeating the same thing uh, several times if need be and no doubt I'll continue to darken this up until I get it just how I want it. So there we are, when I started making this video a week ago I thought we'd cover doing that clay work, um, I'd get that wall painted and I thought we'd have some time to look at the mechanism for the level crossing gates uh, and the signal. Uh, but this just the videos get too long and there's not time for that now, it's not time for me to film and, and edit it and get this video out. So we'll come back to those another time, it will be after scale forum now because I'm busy trying to finish the whole thing off in readiness to be part of my display. In fact I'm working on the station master's house at the moment putting the slates on the roof. So that's that. Reminder for those of you who are interested is Scale Forum should be in a, it will be a week now I think from the time this video is released and there will be full details in the description down below. Now one other thing that will be coming up at Scale Forum is I'm going to be curating a little display of some of Martin Wynn's most excellent plug track system. So if a hand built track in any gauge or scale is of interest to you um, then maybe you might come along and check that out too. It's really fascinating. Okay that's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you soon. Cheerio.